Welcome back to Weg's Garage. Uh, last time we took the transmission out of our 1964 Triumph TR4, and uh, this week we got it right here. And we are going to be working on diving into this thing and trying to see what exactly went wrong with our previous rebuild. By the way, if you want to go back and watch that previous rebuild, I will put a link to a playlist with all of those videos in it down below, and it'll probably also be on the screen right here. So maybe you can watch that and tell us what we did wrong. But anyway, we're going to dive into this thing. Uh, we got to drain the oil out of it because we forgot to do that last week. And then uh, we'll show you some of the trouble spots we can see from the outside and kind of go from there. Probably should have popped that cap and taken it out of the bottom, but whatever. It's coming out. Sometimes we like to do it the messy way, right? I suppose. So we got our transmission out, the oil's out of here. Uh, show you what we're kind of eyeing up here. The spot that we believe is leaking is right on the back side uh, behind this main portion of the transmission, and there's this plate that adapts the overdrive to the gearbox itself. And it seems like it's leaking right in this area. Uh, we're not sure this brass cap is kind of hard to get tight to. That may have been leaking a little bit, but it seemed like it was coming from higher up, uh, from up in here. Um, so we're gonna work on getting the overdrive slid off the back of the transmission so we can kind of examine that gasket and see if something's out of place or warped or whatever's wrong. So we're going to start taking that apart now. Okay, so we got our overdrive separated from the transmission. So first level here, I don't see anything that looks too serious. The gasket all came off uh, on this side, and it looks like a pretty good seal there. So I don't know if that was the issue or not. Uh, so the next step will be we're going to take this plate off and check the next point in here. Uh, between the transmission and the and the plate. Adapter plate is off the transmission. Uh, nothing looks too out of place. The only thing I'll say we noted here is uh, when you peel this gasket back, it was definitely oily underneath the gasket right in this location uh, and a little bit up the side where you can see in other spots it's completely dry. So I do think that's kind of where the leak was coming from. I don't know if you can see it and on the camera there. You can see the oiliness on the gasket there but not in other areas like here. Uh, so I do think this is where that failed. Now what we used on that, I'm pretty sure, is this uh, Permatex Aviation Forma Gasket. I'm not really sure. I thought this was supposed to be pretty good stuff, um, but apparently it didn't seal. I mean, hindsight's always 2020. What are the chances we just didn't get enough of it on there? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you can be the greatest gasket seal in the world, but if you don't slop enough of it on, I don't know. But I can tell you one thing, if that's a possibility, we won't make that mistake again. We'll be generous this time with it. Okay, we have discovered here, uh, we have been checking to, for flatness on this plate too, just to make sure that that's not a factor on uh, sealing. Um, this side looks pretty good. Um, nothing really fits underneath the, the uh, straight edge there. Uh, on the flip side now, when we took the gasket off this side, there was quite a bit of oil under this area right here. Uh, a lot of sludge and oil from the um, from the overdrive itself. Uh, so I, th I think that might have been leaking there. Uh, and here's the uh, unfortunate part. We've definitely got, with a straight edge across there, uh, a gap between the plate and the straight edge. That's a six thousandths feeler gauge. Um, so our plate is not quite flat in that plane. So we'll have to do something to address that. All right, so we got our plate cleaned up. Uh, got most of the gasket sealing off. We'll have to clean it up a little bit better before we reuse it. Um, now, because we noted that these two corners were higher than the rest of the plate, uh, we are going to very gently try to knock off some material here using this sandpaper, which has been uh, attached to this piece of uh, 3 8 inch steel, which is very flat, and hopefully get that part of the plate really flat uh, relative to everything else. Probably also try to run it around and clean up a lot of these faces where it's just, there's just a lot of scars from many years of being assembled and disassembled. So we're going to start that uh, lapping process now. Okay, so we got our plate lapped uh, pretty nice and flat. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to lap because you got all these lips in here, so you can't just, you know, put it flat on the plate. Uh, you have to kind of work it across here, uh, and then you kind of start to get a ridge right here, but then uh, I sort of blended that up into it, and I think now we're pretty flat. We took out a lot of those uh, gouges and things that were on there previously. I also flipped it over and just ran it on this side, which is much easier because that actually is flat. And I just took a little bit off to uh, get it nice and trued up as well. Uh, after that, we got everything really nice and clean. Um, got off all of the residue of the old gaskets. Uh, and yeah, just cleaned it up really nice and got everything ready to go back together. So these are all the mating surfaces, uh, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. But that is where we're gonna call it a day today. Uh, the reason for that is I'm just a little bit skeptical of the gasket sealant that we have here. Um, so I wanna do some research and see if we can find some other alternatives. I have an idea myself. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna look into it. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Next time we'll be putting it all back together uh, and then hopefully getting it back in the car not too long after that. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time. Later. Later.